Alright, we're gonna stay with the, I hope we stay in the boat, but I hope. Uh, we're gonna kinda stay with the uh turn this build pump off. Uh kind of the seasonal pattern and uh which is uh, they're eventually gonna start making their way up in these pockets. Fish a few miles of the pockets here and see. Kind of look around and see if we can find any bait fish. I feel like they, if you find the bait fish, you'll find some game fish of uh, some sort. They're always following them around, always kind of under them. bait fish theory here. I'm throwing a little old bandit uh, 200. It's a real good bait out here on these river systems. Uh, get a look at that thing. It's, uh, these uh, river systems uh, tend to have smaller bait here on Kusa. I mean, we don't have the big gizzards or as a general rule. We don't have big gizzard chads and things like that. And the bait right now that I've noticed out have been real small. I guess it's this year's this year's hatch. But like I said that was some feedback. It showed me that our pattern is uh has kind of a ball pattern and stuff in these pockets here uh, we'll see as we get further into this thing to fish a natural bait this time of year uh, when I say natural I, mean, I try to fish if I'm trying to get them to, trying to get them to bite I like to fish a you know some kind of translucent or some kind of shad or brim colored bait I'm trying to get them to react to it you know, you'll see me tie on a you know a bright bait a bright chartreuse something like that Fish has been in there feeding up. How fat he is. I'm 
check my new scale out, see if it works. Got it again here. Uh, got this one little area, it's the mouth of a pocket, and that's uh, kind of the seasonal deal. Uh, fish are getting ready to move up shallow, and you know, I, uh, I don't think they all get together and say, all right, boys, let's go. Time to head in. I think they do it in stages, just like they move up to spawn in stages. Uh, we're starting to see it kind of odd. It's been an odd mixture. We caught the, the 12 inch fish uh, burning a Bandit 200 around in the, in the mouth of the pocket. And, covered that and then came back in and uh, to go into the pocket I always, I mean here on Neely Henry it's always a, a grass possibility. Yeah. So if you're ever around the grass going anywhere it's good, good to flip it. And there's bait just everywhere in this pocket. And I'm stuck here on something. here in just a second like I said there's bait everywhere out there in this in the mouth of this pocket I'm gonna go out there and uh, really bust them up here in a minute with a crankbait there's fish sitting under those things feeding on them the bait's kind of breaking up in the air I'm mean, up in the surface like there's something maybe under them scaring them but if you uh, go down in there and uh, with a crankbait under those things, sometimes you can uh, get a fish to react to that crankbait because when that crankbait comes through that uh, big ball of bait out there, the crankbait and the line, it, it sends those bait everywhere. And that, that sometimes can generate, generate some feeding activity if there's fish under them. We're gonna try that out here in just a second. You wanna see it? Junk fisherman, or a, what I call fisherman, don't know, is struggling and scrambling. I just look at the deck of the boat. I'm sitting here with eight, nine rods on the deck. Uh, that's a sign that uh, somebody's struggling to get a bite. I fall into that category right now. Here at the point of this mouth right here is always a, a good location of any. When you pull up into these mouths, that inside, the inside of it right there on the point is always, a, always worth a few casts. Whatever bait you got to use. Of course, the way this thing is set up right now, Jigs about the only thing I can get back up in there if I skip it. Which most of you who have watched any of my videos know that's what I like to do anyway. came off that limb perfect. <laughs> there you go, get some of that fly fish in there. 